Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at one of my favorite all-in-one desktops. This is the Dell XPS 27. It is a new version of the system that we previously called the XPS 127. And of course, it's got a 27-inch screen, and it's a touchscreen. In fact, it's such a big touchscreen, I don't even need to scroll over too far to get all my Windows 8 apps up on it. They're all just right here on the screen. And like a handful of other uh, all-in-one desktops and even a couple of laptops that we've seen recently, it's got a higher than 1080p screen resolution. In this case, it's 2560 by 1440. That's the same as you're gonna get on the big 27 inch Apple iMac. Uh, now this particular review configuration is $2,099, a little bit expensive, but you do get a lot for it. You get this big, super high risk screen. You get a new Intel Core i7 processor, and that's the latest fourth generation Core i series, also known as Haswell. Of course, you don't get the battery benefits of Haswell because obviously this is a machine that plugs into the wall, doesn't have a battery in it and you can't really take advantage of the integrated better graphics in Haswell systems because this is one of those very rare all-in-ones that has a decent discrete graphics card in it. In this case, it's the NVIDIA GeForce 750M, and I absolutely love that that graphics card is in here because it lets you play pretty much any modern game on pretty decent settings. Uh, this is really one of the only things that you'd call a gaming all-in-one. And when you have this super high-res screen and it's so big and so bright and so clear, it's really a lot of fun to, let's say, load up Steam and play some games on here. Uh, it's, it's one of the more fun non-gaming desktop uh, uh, gaming systems that I've uh, tried out recently. The XPS 27 comes with a perfectly fine but plasticky and kind of throwaway wireless keyboard and mouse. The adjustable stand doesn't go all the way flat. This is where it tops out and it's kind of stiff, hard to move with one hand, but uh, you can certainly adjust it a bit. Uh, I love all the ports and connections on here. You get plenty of USB 3 ports. You have not only uh, an HDMI output, but also a separate HDMI input. So you can plug, let's say, a Blu-ray player or a cable box or an Xbox or something up to it and just use the monitor and speakers, uh, which makes it pretty handy for having in it. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. is Twit. Jeffrey Needles is here. Jeff is a co-op with us. He is uh, out from Northeastern University. He's been here uh, since January. Yep. And you're going to be going back in uh, August, mm -hmm. back to school. But we're really, we've been having a wonderful time having you here. And anybody who's seen the Gizwiz and watched his Lego building prowess. But he's also a computer whiz. Do you prefer Windows or Mac? Let me ask you that right up front. For I think you're a office Mac work, guy. Yeah. I like Windows. Really? For, home For Excel and, and stuff. stuff. Okay. Windows. So you're agnostic. Yeah. We uh, let you try out the new Dell XPS 27. This is effectively a uh, Jeff Needles. Thank you, Jeff. Jeffrey Needles is here. Jeff is a co really for, home for Excel and, and stuff. stuff. Okay. So you're agnostic. We uh, let you try out the new Dell XPS 27. This is effectively.